Hey guys and welcome back to another video of Spark Flux. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this hook in Fusion 360. But remember one thing: all the dimension has been assumed, and I strongly recommend you guys to don't compare it with the actual measurements of the hook. So this video is just to make you guys understand how to make this profile by using some tips and trick. So let's get started. Uh, First of all, what I'm going to do, I am going to make this uh, uh, profile on which this whole profile is swept. So, go to new design, click on create a sketch on the very first plane, and we will start by making a circle. So, draw a circle and press D for dimension, right click and select radius, and the radius is going to be 90 mm. Remember, the dimension has been assumed, and draw one horizontal line like this and one uh, vertical and one horizontal line like this now again here draw a circle again press d for dimension right click select radius and radius is going to be 63 mm and press ok now go to constraint and select tangent constraint and give the tangent relationship between this circle and a tangent relationship between this circle and this vertical line like this now on this vertical line draw another circle press t for dimension and give it a radius of radius is 46.5 and press enter now again give it tangent relationship with this circle now press l for line and draw a line like this and press D and for dimension and from this uh, horizontal line make the angle as 60 degrees now once done what you have to do is you uh, I need to trim the excess part so for that press T for trim delete this circle this profile this profile and this one So that we all, we are only left with uh, these profile, this particular profile. Now press D for dimension from this point to this point. Give the dimension as 250, and you may finish the sketch. Now once done, I'm going to create certain planes. So we will start by making the plane along path. So first of all just click on this path and one plane will be on the top of this path and press ok now repeat the same step now what i am going to do is going to construct plane along path now if i just select this point instead of the path what it will do it will ask me to position the plane and the distance type here is the proportional and the physical physical represents the actual distance of the current position of the plane with respect to the base point suppose that i have selected this base point and as you guys can see here the distance is increasing as i am sweeping it away on the plane now the second is the proportional what is do what it do it actually uh, divides the whole length of the curvature into ratios ratio of 1 so suppose that if i am 0.1 away 0.1 uh, distance away from my mother point that means i have traveled one tenth of the distance of the actual path so remember i am going to going to give the dimension from this very point so our plane will be positioned somewhere near this point and the distance would be uh, let me just check the distance would be 0 0.6768 and press ok now we need to create another plane like this also again go to construct plane along path select this point like this and this, this time the ratio would be 0 0.3648 and press enter now once done what what you need to do is we need to make a sketch on different plane so we will start by making the sketch on the top plane the first plane we have drawn and press enter 
the origin point will automatically be set to the point on which you have drawn the plane so you don't have to worry about the origin point so just on the uh, just on top of the origin draw a circle and give it a dia of 60 and press enter you may finish the sketch now again repeat the step for the second plane also and from the origin point draw a circle and give it a dimension of 65 dia and you may finish the sketch now repeat this step for the third plane also press c for circle and give it the radius of uh, dia of 60 mm and press finish the sketch now what i'm going to show uh, uh, basically uh, i am going to make a loft profile uh, across all these three planes so if you want more accurate profile uh, and like you, then uh, then you can create another plane on this profile also and you can give uh, draw a circle on that the more number of plane represents the the higher the accuracy so what i'm going to do i'm going to create a loft so press on loft command it will ask you about the profile so first select the first circle then the second one then the third one and then at the last the point on which you want your profile to be ended now again as you can see the profile for what is a point so you guys can uh, uh, the tangency i want this profile to be tangent with the point so select point tangent like this and again go to guide type as center line and click on the profile you have just created and select on new component and press ok so here our how the hook will look like now the next step is to make some uh, threading like I have done here so for that we don't have to do much just to go to thread so for that we need to create a face on which the thread is to be uh, engraved so just stood this profile up to a distance of suppose that 90 mm and just go to create click on thread it will ask you about the face select on this face uh, you can can choose any type of thread I don't care so just full length and it is going to be molded and press ok now so here uh, how we model a crane hook in fusion 360 so uh, one thing uh, in the last I would like to mention that I know that all the hooks are not do not have circular profiles so that like I did I have uh, on the on every plane I have made a circular profile so if you don't want the circular profile you guys can manually change any type of profile you want it to be engraved in your hook so hope you guys will enjoy the video please comment any queries and suggestions don't forget to share and subscribe my channel thank you and have a nice day